Hi, I'm Jonathan Rochelle, product manager for Google Docs. Google Docs lets you easily create and share work online with family, friends, colleagues, and classmates. You can easily create documents, spreadsheets, and presentations, and you're in control of how you share them. There are settings that I want to show you so you understand with how many or how few people you can share with. Say I have a document open and I'd like to share it with coworkers on my project team. I can do that by clicking on the Share tab. This will take me to a new page where I can add the email addresses of my colleagues. If I invite them as collaborators, which is the default sharing setting, they'll have the ability to edit and make changes to my document. Now if I go to Advanced Options, I can control whether my collaborators are able to invite others to the document as well, the same way I just did. So now that collaborators have updated this document, let's say I want to share with someone outside the team. That's easy. I just go back to the Share tab and invite people as viewers by typing their email addresses in the box. These people will be able to see the document without being able to make changes to it. Now, if I'd like a lot of people to collaborate or view this document, I can use a mailing list to invite many people at once. For that invitation to work, I need to make sure that the Invitations May Be Used By Anyone box is checked, which is checked by default. This means that anyone on the mailing list will be able to edit or view my document, depending on which sharing setting I've selected. And finally, let's say I've completed my project list, and now I want to share it with the world. If I click on the Publish tab and then Publish Document, anyone with that URL will be able to access my document. I can now post it to a web page, or I can even email it or IM it to someone or post it on my blog. If I decide that I no longer want to share my document with anyone, I can click the Stop Publishing button at any time, and this will make that URL inactive. Thanks for watching. Thanks for using Google Docs, and stay tuned to the Google Privacy Channel for more privacy tips.